Okay, I'm going to do two more problems to finish out this test number two review. The first one is 47, and it says we're given an angle such that the tangent of theta is minus three fourths, and theta is in the second quadrant. And then they ask us for three things. They say, what would the sine of two theta be? What would the cosine of two theta be? And what would the tangent of two theta be? Now here is where I'm nice to you because these are these double angle formulas and I gave them to you for the test. As a matter of fact, the middle part of the formula sheet Here's sine of 2, in this case it's u, cosine 2u, there's three possibilities for cosine, whichever one you like, and then tangent. And you notice all these formulas, you just need to, have to know the sine and the cosine and you can figure things out. So this basically becomes a problem of, for instance, I'm just going to do the sine of 2 theta. The formula sheet tells me the sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. From the information I've been given, if I can find the sine theta cosine theta, I simply plug them in here and I've got the sine of 2 theta. So now let's see if we can figure out sine theta cosine theta. I'm given tan theta is minus 3 fourths in the second quadrant. I'm going to go create my right triangle. I can ignore the minus for now, and I say tangent is 3 fourths. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So this is 3, this is 4. If I figure out my hypotenuse, I know it's going to be 5. You can do the Pythagorean if you want, but I know it's a 3, 4, 5. And from looking at this, let's go ahead and figure out what the sine of theta is. Sine of theta, opposite over hypotenuse, three-fifths, but let's check the sine. It tells me my angle is in the second quadrant. I know the sine's positive, so there's the sine of theta. Cosine of theta is ka, adjacent over hypotenuse, four-fifths. What's the sine? Well, since I'm in the second quadrant, actually the cosine is negative. So I apply the negative sign. And now I have what I need to calculate the sine of 2 theta. It's 2 times the sine of theta, which is 3 fifths times the cosine of theta. which is negative 4 fifths. So you multiply these out, that's 6, I think it's negative 24 over 25. So that's the sine of 2 theta. And then the cosine of 2 theta and the tangent 2 theta, just plug them into the formulas and you get the answer. Now quickly, let's do the very last problem. It's similar in that it says, number 50 says, for this problem, it tells the tangent of theta is 8 fifteenths, and this time they say, the angle is in the third quadrant, and now, they're asking for the half angle formulas. If I look at my formula sheet, I give you the half angle formulas. You notice, actually, all they involve is cosine. So if I can find the cosine of theta here, then I can figure all these out. Now here's an interesting thing for these half angle. Theta in quadrant three means quadrant three is right here. That starts at pi 
and it goes to 3 pi over 2. Since my final answer is going to be the half angle, I'm going to divide all these by 2. So my half angles are actually going to end up being between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 4. Where is that located? Pi over 2 is right here. 3 pi over 4 is right here. So now you can see my answer for the half angle. I'm now in quadrant 2. And that's going to help me determine the signs of my answers. So let's just do one of these. Let's do the sign of theta over 2. Now the sign in the second quadrant is positive. So I go to the formula sheet. I'm just going to have the positive square root because the formula is positive or negative. But because I'm in the second quadrant, I know the sign is going to be positive. When I get to cosine, I'm going to make it negative because in the second quadrant the cosine is negative, but now the sine is positive, and it's 1 minus cosine of theta over 2. So if I can go figure out the cosine of theta, then I've finished the problem. Once again, they told me tan theta 8 over 15, let's create a triangle, tan is opposite, over adjacent. Now, Tiger formula says this must be 8 squared plus 15 squared. Thankfully, I brought my calculator. See if that equals a nice number. So 15 squared plus 8 squared, which is 64. It actually is. It's 17. So now, I'm really wanting the cosine of theta, and it's 15 ka adjacent over hypotenuse. So now I can say the sine of theta over 2 is 1 minus 15 over 17 all over 2. And if I do the algebra here, 2 over 17 over 2. 